Christmas, Jack's girl. How are you guys? Merry belated Christmas. Um, I wanted to uh, make you guys a video for a while um, regarding a blanket that I made for a friend and I just hadn't gotten around to doing it. Plethora of reasons, pick one. Worked a lot, worked a lot, worked a lot worked a lot <laughs> we are definitely seeing a nurse shortage at work if this is your first time here um, welcome um, I am a nurse and working through the COVID times so but that's not what this is about there's no update on any of that we're gonna be COVID virus free in this video okay <laughs> So other than that, let me show you guys the blanket that I made. Um, back in August, a friend of mine had sent a message out to me and asked what exactly I did with all of my hats and, and little baby blankets that I make. And for the record, I've only made one <laughs> NICU baby blanket. It was kind of weighted because it was like a, a heavier yarn and the size of blanket that came out from the little bit of stain that I had of it was perfect for a NICU baby. And actually it had been used. The nurses loved it because it was small enough that it could cover and give that baby some, some weight, but they were still able to um, access the baby's arms and legs and things so you know really easily and so they like that um, I'm getting ready to make another one <laughs> but so my friend had asked you know what do you do with those things and I said oh my goodness no <laughs> I just they're just gifts I just donate them to the hospital I donate them to my patients or give them to my patients when they're born and um, that's it I don't sell them and she's like well would you be interested in making me a blanket because a friend of mine, her daughter's having a baby, you know, come next spring, and, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I have never made a blanket that size, like what you're probably looking for, and no, I've just never done that. So she's like, okay, well, think about it, and if you want to um, make some extra money, then um, I'd like to commission you to make me a baby blanket. <clears throat> so I sat there and thought about it and it wasn't the, the extra money thing because I thought I've never made a blanket and how do you, how could I even like, even like think about like, oh, how am I gonna make this blanket and if I've never made one, no. So it wasn't the money thing. But I was just, I was laying there, actually I was, it was one of those days that I had to sleep to go to work. And so I was laying there and I was thinking about it, thinking about it, I'm like, why can't I make a blanket? I mean, I make washcloths. <laughs> and by the way, my washcloths are not that great. I've been having some issues with them coming out wonky, trying to like, I mean, after it's made, I put an edge on it and then it's all distorted but that's for another video. So anyways, I'm just thinking, okay, if I can do a dishcloth, maybe, maybe I could try a blanket. So then instead of sleeping, I got on the internet and was looking at for some patterns and I thought I need to find something super easy, but that is cute. And so I spent some time looking and then I thought, I can try this. It's August and this baby's not due until I think March okay so I contacted her and I'm like look I've never made a blanket before but I will try to make you a blanket so we started talking about colors of yarn and I was kind of hoping that she would say yeah pick out some big bold colors no she wanted soft delicate baby colors so, okay so I found a pattern I said okay I found a pattern um, that looks like something I can do and 
we'll go from there. And then I went shopping in the yarn store and actually I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby, but I didn't have the time to go there. I ended up going to Joann's and I saw some yarn there and I thought, well, these have, there's some good options here. Although I like the options better at Hobby Lobby. They had the bolder colors and you know, all the pretty baby blanket color yarn. And, but anyways, I ended up at Joann's and I had quite a selection there too. So video ch chatted with her and she chose some yarn and I, I've probably showed you guys some of it before. Let me, I don't have the ball band anymore. No, I don't have the ball bands anymore, but it was, oh man, now I don't remember. I know the print was called Twinkle print and oh, you can't really see it anyways. It's basically a white with some pinks and blues in it and yellow. Yeah, it's actually, it's really pretty yarn. So this is what she picked and then I got to work and it took me a while. I started and then restarted and then restarted and restarted and I finally got it. Let me show you. I think I ended up putting in five balls of yarn. So here's my blanket. It's a nice stroller size. Off the top of my head, I don't remember. I don't remember um, the measurements because it's been a while now since I made it. And my friend came from Florida. And she was supposed to stop and visit me here in California and pick up the blanket and she forgot. Um, she was really busy. Her birthday was um, Christmas Eve and she has a granddaughter whose birthday is Christmas Eve and then she had some friends that were celebrating big birthdays and stuff so she'd just been a busy girl with the Christmas holiday and everything and then flew back to Florida and forgot to make a date with me. And I've been, I've, I've been, I have been so busy at work myself that I just wasn't in touch with um, all the social media where I would have seen a whole lot of what she was doing and said, hey, let's get together. So anyways, I'm going to just have to mail this out to her. I was hoping to see her though. But we found out the baby is now a boy. And so I added a blue blue ribbon oh my gosh excuse the fact that I've got a five-year-old for a husband he's been watching a lot of like oh my gosh I'm gonna give him a dog he's been watching a lot of what do you call those like TikTok type things <laughs> the music I'm like what are you like five listen to the same music over and over I guess that's a TikTok videos replay and stuff so whatever the latest thing actually I've been watching some TikTok and I get sucked into that I like to look up Dutch Shepherds with the TikTok anyway sorry for that but I put a blue ribbon on and I told my friend I said there's a reason why I'm putting a blue ribbon and had it been a girl I still would have put a blue ribbon and the blue ribbon is because you mind shutting that door? Thank you. <laughs> because the thing that I like to do is with some of my baby hats and I'm putting it into the blanket is that when this mama uses this, she can take the, the blue ribbon off, but hopefully at least the first time um, baby will get that blue ribbon. And then when he goes to get married, or if it was a girl, when she went to get married, then the blue ribbon can be used for the something old, something blue, and something borrowed because it technically belonged to the child, right? Now, unless it was the little girls, and then if it was the little girls, it was hers, so then it'd be just something old and something blue. But that could be tied around something on the bouquet or placed somewhere on um, a bride's dress in the hem of her, you know, petticoats or 
underslips or tied into a bra strap or something, you know, or somehow put in there. But anyways, so there's the blanket. If I can figure out which way I made it, I think, okay. So I left in my markers, my stitch markers. So that was one ball. And then <laughs> here's a second ball. Okay, that's where my second ball started. Oh no, that was the third ball. So one ball, this is the second ball. And then the third ball got started down here, right? Yeah. And then the third ball finished up in this um, ruffle. I added the fourth and fifth ball. Can you imagine? I wish I could tell you how big that ball of yarn was because you would realize like, but it's a standard size ball of yarn. I made it all the way into this ruffle. Um, I'm glad that I made it so you can probably see it's like three layers. There's one, two, and three. But oh my goodness. That was a lot of time put into making that ruffle. But anyways, so there's my blanket. I'm so proud of myself. There, it's like this um, shell stitch. And I found the pattern at um, Bag of Day Crochet by Crystal. She's on YouTube. I wish I can, <clears throat> now I lost where I was, maybe. Anyways, I was gonna show you guys that pattern, but I, I'm kind of lost. I just got done finishing a blanket for my daughter, so my eyes are just done for the day. But anyways, there's, and it's reversible, so there's no real front or back because this shell stitch works either way. So it was at Bag O'Day Crochet that I used her pattern, and it was called Monkey Business. So there's that. And then to go with it, because I do make baby hats, I decided to make a sweet little baby hat. And I put in the little bow for the guy, the little boy. So there's that. So yeah. So the problem I have now is pricing. And I did look up some different YouTubers talking about pricing and with the amount of time where I live minimum wage the hours and everything tied in this blanket would be worth over a hundred dollars no 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 yeah a little over a hundred dollars with time and money and everything and researching the pattern and all that um, going shopping for the yarn, you know, being in contact, all that stuff adds up, right? And reality is no one wants to pay $100 for a handmade blanket because you can go and get lovely blankets at like TJ Maxx, Nordstrom, Boss, Dress for Less, Target, those kinds of places. You can go get really nice blankets. Of course, you can't get them handmade crocheted, but you can get nice blankets and they're not going to cost you that much. So there's a woman, Little John is I think her last name, um, I think Little John Crochet or Little John Yarns, oh I'm so sorry, I just started watching her videos. She was talking and she was saying crochet is really a gift of heart, it's really a work of heart. Truly it is because the amount of time um, and effort that I put into this, I'm glad I did it. I got to learn a lot. Um, I grew mentally. I grew. Um, somebody else, there was somebody else that was talking about pricing too. So yeah, 
Um, but looking at Etsy and seeing what a lot of the handmade crocheted or the crochet, I guess you can only hand make crochet. I didn't realize that you cannot use a machine to crochet at all. You can use a machine to knit, but you can't use one to crochet. So that's pretty, I like that. Um, but most of them are going for between 40 and $50. Some of my friends suggested 75. I, I think, I don't know. I think I'm going to charge my friend like somewhere in 40 to $50. So if you guys want to comment and put what you guys think, um, my friend who is commissioning this doesn't have financial issues. Um, but just because she's doing really well financially doesn't mean that she should have to pay more than I would ask somebody else to pay. You know what I mean? Um, I think if I were to do this again, I would discuss a price ahead of time. Um, if it was a stranger, then I would say you need to put down the deposit first and it's non-refundable. Um, but I'm doing it for a friend and honestly, I don't think that I will do this again for, um, to sell it. I'm not that amazing. I, I think this is done well. I mean, I honestly, I think it's done perfect because I made sure that I did every stitch perfect because it was being sold. But, um, I'm, I'm not going to do this as a business. I would like to. That would be amazing. But I'm not going to. Um, I definitely want to make some more. And I'm going to put them away for grandbabies. My daughter is 12. And my son is 22. But he's not currently dating anybody. <laughs> has no plans to get married anytime soon so that's good <laughs> doesn't mean that grandbabies couldn't um, pop up let's just hope not though let's hope he's smarter than that <laughs> um, anyways I just thought I'll you know I'll make some when I get the, the gumption make some my daughter's asking if I can make some in pink um, I told her I wanted to start with a white one and put it away for the baby's blessings. And so I'll start with that and then do a pink one, whatever color she wants, it's fine. Um, I'm on the verge of turning 50 and with her being 12 and if she followed in my footsteps, I was 38 when she was born. So if she were to wait that long, I'm gonna be ancient. I don't know where my eyesight will be. I don't know where my hands will be at that time. So I thought I should start making some of that stuff now and putting it away for later. And then we'll just see where we are then, right? But anyways, I wanted to share this with you guys. And let you guys see that I was able to make something. So I wasn't doing a lot of cross stitching. Um, or much of anything else because I was working on those things. I got this done in September. I was like pretty proud of myself of how, how fast I got it done. And then I started a new project. So in another video, I will show you guys what I started and finished. Um, just the other day, it was supposed to be a Christmas present. It didn't get done in time, but it's done now. So that'll be a different video but i wanted to share this with you guys and um, hope you guys enjoy it maybe feel inspired to try something new 2021 could be a good time for learning something new that might um, inspire you all to do something new anyways i'll take uh, i was gonna say i'll take care <laughs> you guys take care and i'll talk to you later bye